Welcome back everyone. Today we are at the Shawnee Lake Amusement Park in West Virginia. This place has been abandoned for many years. Um, it's got a lot of history to it. Some of the history is good and some of it is bad. The majority of the history is some kids have passed away on this this grounds um, from either drowning or being um, hit by a vehicle. There has been uh, aberration seen on this property of a little girl. There is also on this property um, an ancient Indian burial site where Indian bodies have been, bones have been dug up and artifacts. Um, people have seen an aberration of what they believe to be an Indian. One of the workers volunteers for this park has personally seen an aberration of an Indian. There is a little bit more stories behind this park that a lot of it's hard to explain so I don't want to mislead you and try to explain it. Um, I do encourage you to come and check the place out for yourself. We have been here since 2 o'clock today um, doing a day tour and the place has lots and lots of information. The staff and the owners are very nice. Um, Chris, the owner who took us on, our, on a tour, the guy is very knowledgeable of this stuff on that happens at this park um, he's a great guy he's funny and he loves to tell you the stories that he's had happen to him and stories that's been told to him of other visitors to this park so let's uh, check out what we can find um, Oh, it's actually got writing on it. Oh, what? <laughs> People's left a knife, a car, candy, a lifesaver. If anybody's with us right now, please talk to to us through this device. We can play it back and we can hear what you have to say. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Is Tabitha with us right now? What's the brother's name that was scouted and burned at the stake? Um, Bartley. Bartley? Wasn't there one that wasn't on the tombstone? Yeah, but he was there. wrong. What did he say his name was? I uh, forgot. I did too. He said his name a couple times, but I forgot. Can you tell us your brother's name that isn't on your tombstone? I think it was. I think it was a Zeke or something. Yep, that's but yeah, I think that's what it was.
Do you st still like to play in this area? Would you, is there anything you'd like to say to Chris? Are you here? Listen to it back and see what we get. If anybody's with us right now, please talk to, to us through this device. We can play it back and we can hear what you have to say. Did you see a whisper? Huh? I heard a whisper just now. Yeah, but I don't know who is this talking or... Too, real quick. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hi. 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 Oh, 
Does Cap still want to talk to us? Is any of the Clay family with us right now? Is Ezekiel buried here too? Sounds like a young boy coming yeah. through. Mm -hmm. What keeps trying to knock off this? Yeah, something it's like something's purposely knocking it off. It's doing it again, it's sliding. Oh, shoot, I'm not stopping. I don't mean to. Is there anything you want to tell us? Is there anything you want to tell Chris and the crew that keep this place safe? That was a young kid. Yeah. And when it did that, it moved again. Let's see it. Okay. Is that you keep moving the uh, speaker? Stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does the speaker fascinate you? Do you guys like playing on the swings? you've been getting lately? It's, uh, I do. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Does it make you happy that this ground's still preserved? It's going to get his head turned around. Yeah. <laughs> well, I Someone. Is there someone here with us? What? Okay. <laughs> what? What? Is there someone here with us? Yes. Are you still playing with the speaker? Did you make a loud noise earlier? Back. Huh. We'll have to listen to him back. Yeah. Is there anybody anybody else with us that's not part of the Clay family?
Clay family. Team. Yeah, I heard that. Do you not want to talk to us anymore? Do you want us to leave? You want us to leave you alone? I, I just said, yeah, leave. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I don't know who that is. What? Oh, did you see the speaker? Uh, yeah. Can you push the speaker back the other way? Don't knock it off, please. It's gonna fall. Oh, you're gonna push the speaker off. <laughs> You want to tell us anything? Do you want the speaker off your tombstone? Is that why you keep pushing it off? Is that Is Ezekiel with us? You, do you play with your brother and sister? Try and knock the speaker off again. Yeah, I heard a kid laugh. <laughs> you think it's funny to knock the speaker off? You knock it off and it breaks. We won't be able to hear you. You want us to let you go? to go. Talk to you later. <laughs> All right, bye.
All right, we uh, we come out here to the Indian burial site uh, at the uh, the lake. We uh, come to pay our respects to them and also try to communicate with them with the uh, spirit box session. Hopefully, we can get a uh, one of them to talk to us. <coughs> this uh, this site. It's not exactly known how many Indians are buried here, but a few graves have been excavated and they found three, three Indian uh, skeletal remains. They estimate there are hundreds more. This rock that has been placed here was placed to uh, a monument to the Indians and the funny thing about the rock was it has sank three foot into the ground and the shape of the rock was not shaped like this when they first put it in it was just straight rock pointing straight up to the sky over the time since they put it in it's changed its shape naturally or with a little assistance from the Indian spirits but as you can tell the rock is now somewhat shaped like an Indian head a chief with feathers sticking out That is, has happened naturally. Nobody carved that like that. People come here and they pay their respect, leave a item to show their respect. I wanted to give something myself, but unfortunately I don't have anything that I consider as value to me to leave for them. You can see people's left feathers, um, an old wooden flute, necklaces, crystals, protection crystals, an old quartz arrowhead, money, military hats. Let's uh, let's try to do a quick spirit box session and see see if we can get one of them to talk to us, communicate with us, possibly tell their their story to us. start off by saying I've come here to pay respect to y'all I would appreciate if you you could communicate with us tell us about yourselves tell us about your culture tell us about your tribe if there's any Indian spirits here with us right now can you come through and say hi to us? The device that you're talking to or using to talk to me will not hurt you. I know a lot is different from the time that you were alive. This device is just a device to help us talk to the souls that's 
passed on. So don't be afraid to come through and talk to us. How many are here with us? Is there, a, is there a uh, Indian chief that protects this grounds? Is he here with us? Do you like people leaving their belongings here? I just thought about it. In their time frame, they wouldn't have known our English. So I'm hoping. No. No. My name's Corey. Can you say Corey? Immediately. What's your name? Can you tell us about yourself? How old were you when you died? Do you like do you like Chris? Do you like Chris and how he tries to preserve your land? Is there anything you'd like to tell Chris? The young lady that died and was buried with her baby. How did you die? I kind of wish, wish we had an Indian shaman here with us because they would know the language better than we would and the I mean I feel like we are getting a response but it's jumbled it's hard not knowing their language do you like people coming to see you?
How many how many people how many people were buried to here? Who's the, uh, what's the name of the Indian apparition that people's been seeing? Is this bee that uh, was flying around Chris yesterday that just flew around me? Is that is that one of y'all spirits? Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> Giant, is he around? speaking Greek to us so I don't know all right we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up um, the spirit box session we just done I feel that we might have something had came through but I also feel that there's a big language barrier because most of these Indians are close to 2,000 years old, long before they learned English. Uh, so I feel that they're probably a language barrier um, preventing us from truly communicating. For Hopefully when I go to play back this video, I will see something that, you know, had came through. And we plan on coming back out eventually to film more here at the Lake Shawnee Abandoned Amusement Park. There's places so big that we didn't get a chance to look at everything. There's a, a haunted house here that the owners uh, stated that some of the deaths has happened here basically where the house sits is the area where the deaths has happened uh, we wanted to check that out last night got late extremely cold so we decided to close up for the night if you're ever in the area or interested coming here um, I highly recommend you do it it's was has been a great experience the owner Chris he's very knowledgeable of the the property he is very respectful of the spirits that are on this property and all these spirits love him to you know no end um, there's a little girl that had died on the swings every time he comes around he gets 
um, interaction with her. So I highly suggest if you are interested or in the area to come in. It don't cost a lot and all the uh, proceeds are strictly used to preserve this property. None of it is for profit. They are extremely nice people. They're laid back and basically they will let you go explore everywhere on the property at your leisure. They will do, uh, they do have guided tour. It gives you a little history of the property, a little bit of stories, um, some of the artifacts they've found on the Indian burial site. So if you are and interested, it's Lake Shawnee Abandoned Amusement Park. You can look that up on Google. Give them a call and uh, schedule a time to come out. Now, if you liked this video, please subscribe and hit that like button. Hopefully, we can, in the near future, have a part two for this video. And film, get to the areas we weren't able to film. Um, of course, we weren't able to start filming until late last night because they also during October they start doing the haunted house on a regular basis so lots and lots of people show up and there's a lot of a lot of noise from the haunted house so it made it kind of hard to start the video until after everybody left which was around 11 o'clock last night but like I said if you like this video please subscribe hit that like button turn your notifications on we are going to have more videos coming up in the future until then we'll see you with the next video